country by allowing these millions and millions of people to come into our country and look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. And a lot of towns don't want to talk. It's not going to be Aurora or Springfield. A lot of towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country, and it's a shame. Also, starting with our administration, we gave TPS, Temporary Protected Status, to Haitian migrants, 55,000. And then more recently, we extended Temporary Protected Status to over 100,000 Haitian migrants for that very reason. That you know, you? <laughs> you're going to be next, boy. I ain't eating nothing off of a barbecue pit around here. Ducks. Ducks are disappearing. So the migrants are eating geese, you think? That's Have you heard of pets being abducted? Yep. Cats are a delicacy in Haiti. So it's not that they're poor and eating them because they don't have other food. It is a delicacy like someone would eat escargot. And then I heard that stuff on Facebook and I thought, I better watch my dogs. Well, that, that <laughs> wasn't verified. Springfield, Ohio right now is a tinderbox. They're killing cats. They're eating geese. They're, they're crashing cars. One of these is going to light and it's going to be bad. Part of that is because in the state of Ohio, you cannot use lethal force to protect property. And pets are considered property. Are you carrying a firearm now to keep yourself safe? How has that changed? How yes, I did. I, I got a couple guns and I'm not afraid to use them. I, I was raised at the hills. Our town is a bomb, especially with the influx of immigrants or whatever you want to say, people, it's a, it's a time bomb ready to go off. And the odd that like a guy like me has to come out from doing what I do on a daily basis to have fun because I see what's going on in these streets and I see you guys just sitting up there in them comfy chairs and suits and like, and I'm getting out here every day and I'm broadcasting this and you guys are just sitting up there in suits or something. Like I, I really challenge you guys to get out here and do something. These Haitians are running into trash cans. They're running into buildings. They're running into... They flipping cars in the middle of the street. And I don't know how, like, y'all can be comfortable with this. Like, I don't know, like, who's getting paid from it. I feel like, I honestly feel like someone's getting paid from it in the background. They dropping, they, you got a bunch of people on a bus getting dropped off at a gas station to come down here. I know a single mom that FaceTimed me tonight, FaceTimed me this morning at the welfare office that really need, like, that really need something. And it's nothing but immigrants over there. And I don't even want to, like, seem like I'm coming down on the immigrants because it's the people that's bringing them down here. Because wherever they're at, that's what they're used to, bro. They're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, and eating them. Like, bro. Like, everyone on TikTok, on Facebook, making these jokes to get everything fucking funny. Like, imagine you being homeless for a whole fucking year for no fucking reason. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? This shit is not fun. This shit is not cool, bro. They really out here to capitating animals and y'all are making jokes out of it. Imagine if you went outside and you saw your motherfucking, you saw your dog's head decapitated on the fucking ground. Like, are you, dude, why, is, why are y'all thinking this shit's a joke? It's not a joke. I don't feel comfortable walking anywhere. Like, what the fuck? I should be able to feel safe in my own city. Everybody's fucking homeless out here. Ain't shit but fucking scary ass Haitians just lurking and creeping and shit. Y'all thinking this shit's motherfucking funny. I keep making this shit up. It's not made up, bro. This shit is real life. This shit is really so fucking safe here, bro. ...about yesterday, driving around Springfield. I was looking at the giant holes in some of our buildings. I noticed all of the old familiar spots bearing new signs in an unfamiliar language. I watched as groups of strangers walked around the city like lost tourists, and it was like a punch in the gut. A terrible sadness came over me, and I began to cry. I immediately started to think back to when I was little, walking from my grandma's house on South Fountain through downtown 
and all the way to Snyder Park, going to Wren's to get new school clothes and shoes, the excitement of the mall for lunch at the Blue Fox, or even better to see Santa, riding down High Street, admiring the beauty of those stately homes and their amazing architecture, dropping pennies in the fountain and making wishes. And now, all those warm memories are becoming fuel to the fire of anger inside of me. I feel like we have been invaded by some sort of pest. I'm angry that my friends and family are packing up and moving away. I'm angry that foreigners are using up the resources that were set up for the Americans that reside here. I'm angry that another country's flag was being flown in our city. I'm angry when I see our businesses and recreational areas littered with garbage left by people that do not know or understand our laws and culture and are making no attempt to learn about them. And let me be clear, this is not about race. This is about people being given the privilege of coming here from another country and having no respect for our people, our land, or our life's work. People living their life here the way they did in Haiti, angry, stealing, polluting, living in filth, and acting like animals. These are not civilized people. Opening containers in our grocery stores, helping themselves to what's inside and throwing the rest onto the shelves and floors. Pulling off of the highway to publicly clean and gut the roadkill, lying there in front of anyone that passes by. Stealing animals from farmers and leaving their severed heads at the side of an old school where children play. Relieving themselves in public. Making some barbaric stew out of the birds that live in our park. This is insanity and it has to stop. What will become of Springfield? Where will we be in five years? The thought terrifies me. Will it be some sort of dystopian wasteland with most of our original residents having moved away and those that cannot afford to move being locked inside their homes living in fear? This thought is keeping me awake at night. I just want the old Springfield back. I know it was far from perfect, but at least it was still ours.